What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now. I'm Alex, and in this video, I want to talk about if Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order will be announced this year. We'll talk about a couple more things than that, too. When do I think this game will release? Things like that. And it makes a lot of sense to talk about this game, especially with what happened last week. I think last week honestly gave us some pretty big hints as to when we will see uh, Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order 2, all right? So, as always with these kind of videos, make sure if you guys do like them, you guys are subscribed. Make sure you guys have the bell icon turned on so you know when all these videos go up and also if you want to subscribe to my second channel its name is podcast now plus i'll leave a link for it in the description below obviously i'm grateful for you guys supporting me in whatever place you guys want to support me okay i really really do appreciate the support so i do think this game is going to be announced in 2021 we talked about this game leading into the game awards right was this a possibility to be announced there uh you know with ea and now again you know we weren't with Star Wars, I guess we were off the mark with, with the Game Awards, but with EA, we were not off the mark whatsoever. Like, EA was the shining star, weirdly enough, right? EA was the shining star of uh, the Game Awards, right? Jeff Keighley and EA seem to have that kind of relationship, but no, I really do think they're setting the stage for 2021 to be big, not just for Star Wars, but also just in general for EA getting the announcement very soon, I think, of Battlefield 6 and all that kind of stuff. I mean, we're going to get some really, I think, cool things this year, at least cool announcements. Now, you see, you you have to be careful, right? We don't really know the quality of EA once it comes out, but the announcements and the lead up to it, I think are going to be really, really good. Now, last week, and I don't think this is a, this is a mystery to anybody. I think a lot of people know this. So last week when they did Lucasfilm Games, not EA, right? When Lucasfilm Games became a thing and Ubisoft was announced to make the open world Star Wars game. And then Lucasfilm Games said, you know, we're, we have more things. We're also going to be working with Ubisoft like longer term. EA said they're still going to be working on Star Wars games. And they said that some of their they are working on actually several of them right now. Now we don't know we don't know what that means. I believe the word was several, which is at least two, I believe, right? Now again, like we've we've speculated, Jedi Fallen Order 2 is definitely one of them. Is Battlefront 3 another? Is there a third one? Is there no Battlefront 3 and there's some other game like instead? We don't really know. That we don't really know. But um, I do think Jedi Fallen Order is obviously is obviously one of them. And they said that they will be announced throughout this year so i do think by the end of 2021 which again i mean it makes sense like it it's it hasn't been the longest time since jedi fallen order okay that has i think because we all want it we all want the announcement of it in all reality it's only been out for like a year at this point like a little over a year right uh you know i believe what was november of 2019 which is the same as death stranding and stuff like that so it's only been a year and a couple months so I do think they've been working on it since then, probably a little bit before then. But still, you got to imagine for a, a game like that, you got to probably give them three years. So in my opinion, I think this is a 2022 game. I know maybe some people would want it for 2021. I mean, I do too. I want to play this game as soon. I, I, my God, I loved Fallen Order. And I would want to play two as soon as possible. But in all reality... They even said it themselves, Respawn, where like they they did actually have to rush Fallen Order out, even though it didn't seem like it, you know, uh, very obviously they did have to rush it. They were trying to get it out for Episode Nine, okay, uh, like before, like right before it. And if they did have more time, they could have made it even better. And even you know, taking a more uh, you know attack focus on that game, there were some things that were a little bit weak especially the story towards the very end. Uh, I guess I won't spoil it, but it did kind of just end. Like, <laughs> it was a pretty, it wasn't the greatest ending, okay? And I think that probably could have been fixed if they had more time to do it. So, to, to say that, and to say, yeah, I think the game is coming out two years after the first game, doesn't sound very good, you know what I mean? So, I, I really do think this game is three years, in like, from the first game to the, to the second game. I think it's three years. So, I think that's fall of 2022, but I do think we're going to see it this year. I do think we get a trailer, probably not gameplay, probably just a trailer, kind of what we got leading into the first game being announced, right? Which was at their E3 that year, which was a, uh, you, they didn't do a great job marketing what that game was going to be. Remember, they, they should, they, a lot of the positive talk about Jedi Fallen Order was actually talked about, like, through journalists, like, playing the game. It wasn't through actually what they showed themselves, okay? But no, I, I really do think this game is going to be announced this year. I think this game will be announced. I honestly think another, by the way, I'm not including uh, the Skywalker Saga, the Lego Star Wars game. I'm not including that. I'm thinking of something else. I think a second Star Wars game will also be announced this year. To be honest with you, when? I think when is probably the next thing people would say. Well, uh, it would be a cop-out answer for me to say just in 2021, right? I do think it's still too early to 
tell with E3 if we're going to have it or not. I really don't think we are going to have an E3 this year. Just in, like not, not like the channel. Like I, I would love to personally have an E3, but I don't think the industry is going to be able to get together for an E3 still. I think probably next year we'll be able to you know collectively do it, but I do not think this year we're going to do it. So I, I think it's still going to go more um, you know just like digital, more like online, which... They did do that EA Play last year, okay, back in like July, right? And I would say it was pretty terrible. It was no, it wasn't even Ubisoft forward. I actually really liked the Ubisoft events. I really, really did. EA, I just really don't think they showed next to anything to do it, right? They showed Star Wars Squadrons, but that was pretty much it. Uh, I would expect some big EA, because again, you ha like, like why, w I know it's kind of a tan, I I'm going all over the place. I ramble, that's kind of what I do. Why? with what you have. You have Dragon Age, which obviously is getting closer and closer and closer to being done. By the way, you have Mass Effect Legendary Edition, which still, you know, we, we have a rumored release date, but we don't have them saying it. We don't have gameplay, anything like that. We have the next Mass Effect game. We have Anthem 2.0. We have all these stuff. A lot of Bioware stuff, by the way. But we have all of these games, and why wouldn't they just put it all together in an event and say, hey, Here's a gameplay presentation of Battlefield 6. Hey, we're working on some Star Wars stuff. Here's two examples. Here's two things. Hey, Mass Effect. Let's show you. You know what I mean? I, I really do think they can do, a, a, like, actually a really, if they put all of it together. Now, again, like, what tends to happen is they just decide, hey, we'll, we'll talk about half of the games that we really could talk about all of them, but we'll talk about half of them. Okay, so I, I do think it's coming in 2021. The announcement, I do probably think it's going to take place in like an E, like a, uh, like a, you know, I guess they call it EA Play, right? So I really think that's what we're going to get. If not an E3, if Jeff Keighley does Gamescom again or like a Summer Games Fest, I think you could get it sometime around then. I think uh, this is probably like a summer kind of deal. Could we see it in the fall? Could we see it? Could they wait all the way to like the Game Awards or like a November, December period in 2021? Probably, I mean, they could wait, but I really think we'll, I, I truly do believe we'll see it before then. It'll go dark. We'll see it. It'll go dark for a very, very long time. We'll probably not see it again until next year, right, when we when we get gameplay, when we kind of get that lead up to the game releasing, but I do think um, it's on its way. I really, really do. So let me know in the comments below, guys. What do you think? Do you think we'll see it in 2021? What do you think they'll show? Maybe, the, maybe they could show more than just a trailer. I don't know. Let me know. As always, make sure you guys are subscribed. Have the bell icon turned on so you know when all these videos go up. Again, if you guys want to subscribe to my second channel podcast now plus i'll leave a link for it in the description below thank you all so much for watching i really do appreciate it i hope to see you all on the next video